What's up everyone, it's Andy from Dino and today we're going to talk about Dino Bench. This video is a continuation of our Dino Toolchain series and if you haven't seen our first video, Tips and Tricks with Dino Test, then go please check it out. Before we dive in, you might ask, what is Dino Bench and why? Well, it's a benchmarking tool that makes it easy to measure performance. And if you're coming from Node, Dino Bench saves you time from finding and integrating a third-party benchmarking tool. Today, we're going to cover some cool use cases with Dino Bench. Most of the time, we'll want to benchmark two or more ways of doing the same thing. Here, we're comparing parsing a URL from a string, parsing a URL URL with a path, and then also parsing a URL with a path and a URL object. The results show how long it takes each benchmark in nanoseconds, as well as how many iterations per second. Not only that, but it also includes the CPU chip and the runtime. The results indicate that the first approach is the fastest. But what if you want a more clear way to show exactly how much faster it is? We can pass this baseline true option into the benchmark. When we run it, there is now a summary section at the bottom that shows you exactly how much faster the benchmarks are compared to the baseline. If you want multiple benchmarks but in the same file, you can organize the output using the group option. Here, we've added a fourth benchmark for splitting text. When we run it, the results are summarized together, which isn't very helpful. But if we add the option group URL to the URL benchmarks and the group text to the text benchmarks and run it again, now you can see our results are organized by group. Did you know that you can be specific about when to start and stop measuring your benchmarks? Here's a new benchmark file where we plan to benchmark parsing the first word of the releases markdown file file, which is all the release notes from the Dino Runtime project over the past five years. It's over 6,000 lines long. Running Dino Bench shows that this operation takes a long time, but it's mostly because the benchmark includes reading the file in memory. So how do we benchmark reading just the first word? If we use the bench context parameter, we have access to the start and end functions. When we run Dino Bench, you'll notice that this benchmark only measures the reading of the first word. This was just a glimpse into Dino Bench. If you want to check out the other options available to you, click through to the bench definitions. There are some other options that you can pass, such as only and ignore, which we covered in Dino Test. We hope you found this video useful. Are there any other tools that you want us to cover? Let us know in the comments. <laughs>